all the way from inauguration stories now. The Oshun State Chief Judge Justice Oyebola Uju has sentenced Dr. Raman Adedoi, owner of Hilton Hotel Ilefe, to death by hanging. Justice Ojo declared that Dr. Adedoi, owner of Hilton Hotel Ilefe, where one Timothy Adegoki, an OAU postgraduate student, was allegedly killed, was culpable of murder. Justice Ojo, in a judgment, said the owner of the hotel and two of his workers, based on the circumstances of the case established by the prosecuting counsel, are found culpable of conspiracy to commit murder and unlawful killing of the deceased. Uh, the National Industrial Court has held that it is legal to withhold salaries of striking members of the Academic Staff Union of Universities during the period which the strike lasted. Justice Benedict Kampik held that in line with Section 43, Subsection 1A of the Trade Union Act, members of ASU who participated in the eighth in the eight-month-long strike are not entitled to salaries, although employers and workers can enter an agreement for which the workers will be paid during the period of strike when such agreement was not made. No worker is expected to get paid. The court also held that the federal government cannot force ASU to accept payments through IPPIS as long as they confirm to their budgetary, budgetary allocation. He adds that the federal government was wrong to have imposed IPPIS on ASU. The court also held that in line with, this, with Section 18 of the Trade Dispute Act, no employer shall embark on lockout or no worker shall embark on an industrial action when trade dispute is apprehended and the reconciliation is ongoing. In Kaduna State, Uba Sani has been officially sworn in as the new governor, taking over from Nasser El Rafai. The inauguration ceremony held at Mortala Square in Kaduna. One of the key highlights of Governor Sani's speech was his commitment to advocate for the establishment of state police. The newly appointed governor pledged to invest heavily in legally permissible efforts to improve security and law enforcement within the state. Uh, the prevailing security situation in the country demands for a significant shift in the current structure. In this regard, I will work with my colleagues, governors, and members of the National and State Assembly to make state police a reality. I was in the forefront of advocacy for state police in the Ninth Senate. I strongly believe that state police is the financial for our perennial security challenges. The United State has had its fair share of bloodletting and unnecessary destructions. To this end, this administration will invest heavily in all legally permissible efforts, including deploying technology for security and law enforcement. In Zamfara State, the governor, Dao De Lawa, says his administration will run an all-inclusive government and will lead with a human face. It says security, agriculture, job creation, empowerment, health care, among other key sectors, will be his priority. Dr. Dalda stated this shortly after he was sworn in as the fifth Zamfara democratically elected governor. On security, noted that he will collaborate with other governors in the banditry affected states of Kaduna, Katsina, Sokoto, Kebi, and Niger to defeat terrorists causing havoc on innocent communities. I stand here to assure you that I'm the governor for all the people of the United States. I am prepared to provide the needed purpose leadership, take tough decisions, and make all necessary sacrifices to better the lot of our people. I assure and give all of the sundry commitment that the government I will lead will be honest, transparent, accountable, inclusive, and result-oriented. We have placed emphasis on six principles as core in our drive to rescue some of our states, namely security, agriculture and food security, education, economy, healthcare, 
and empowerment.